Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to modding Star Wars Knights of the Republic 2, The Sith Lords. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at a mod that changes up the camera in KOTOR 2. Now, I've been told this is also compatible with KOTOR 1, although I didn't have time to try it for myself. Uh, this mod gives you the option of two different camera angles for the camera. A above the hip style camera that just basically shows the top half of your character and leaves the rest of the scene visible, or a distant camera that is a lot more zoomed out, a little bit more reminiscent of some even older than KOTOR 2 RPGs. The mod also has the option to enable the camera change only when you're out of combat, so as soon as you enter combat, it'll switch back to the classic camera, which gives you a lot more visibility when fighting enemies, you're not really far away or kind of really Really up and at an angle so it's helpful that way anyway let's take a look at the mod alrighty now to start off we are gonna take a look at the classic cam so this is how the camera looks regularly in KOTOR 2 uh, as you can see it's just kind of a plain regular sort of thing you can see enough but you don't see anything extra uh, you see your character's feet, and then there's about the equal height of your character above your head. Now keep this in your mind as we go ahead and look at the two other options. Now you can only pick one of these obviously, but you can really change them whenever you want because the mod's pretty easy to install with the TSL patcher. This is option one. It's the above the hip kind of close up camera. You get a lot more view above your character's head. Uh, and your character is just kind of at the bottom of the screen. Now, I personally don't prefer this, but I can see why people would want it. Uh, it gives you a lot of ability to look over your character off into the distance, and it kind of pulls you really close to the player character. And then the second option is this one here. Uh, your character's a lot smaller, and the screen is kind of more zoomed out. This is actually my personal preference. I think the game looks a lot better like this. You can see a lot more around you. Your character doesn't take up as much space, especially when playing it on a a, uh, you know a 1080p monitor right in front of my face the smaller character seems to fit better with everything else although some people have problems with this because they find it a little bit harder to see now uh, this is a better comparison shot here uh, on the right hand side obviously is the default camera and then on the left is the close-up over the hip camera you can see the totally totally different angle because this character is standing in the exact same position so you can see how it changes things you can see a lot further off into the distance distance on the left hand side which is the mod and the same is true for the zoomed out one but you can see even more again gives you a lot more area of the scenery the character is a lot smaller on the screen I really like it uh, and I really like running around like this you know I, I just think it makes the game look better and it kind of brings me back to some even older than this one RPGs because I was gonna say old RPGs but this game's pretty old now some of you might be concerned about how this looks in interiors so I'm gonna show you this quick scene here which is in the Ebon Hawks hold now classic cam is on the bottom right and option one is on the top left now, as you can see, uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult to see further back when you're using the above the hip camera. Uh, and in some areas, it can be a little bit more tedious that way, which is a bit of a problem uh, for people like me who like to kind of look around and see everything. So you might miss some closer to your character details, things to click on. It can be a bit of a problem when using the close up camera like that. So you might have to kind of move around to weird angles to click on stuff that's kind of near your character feet lock boxes are a good example of this uh, and then the distant camera looks like this now as you can see that problem is alleviated but again it looks a little bit uh, kind of a bit more awkward inside the areas now I didn't notice any performance uh, drops or anything like this I have an extremely good computer though so there is literally no way this is going to affect me the only bottleneck I have in this game is uh, the limitations of the engine itself so I really couldn't tell you how this affects performance at all, unfortunately. I'm also playing at 1080p, so your results might be a little bit different depending on your resolution. Now, uh, you might be wondering how the combat kind of change looks, so I'm going to show you a quick little scene here. This is basically kind of what it looks like to run around with the wide camera. Again, this is my personal preference. You can see it looks very, very nice. But when you get into combat, it's a bit harder to fight, especially with the close-up cam. Fortunately, you can select an option that allows you to change back to the default camera for combat. It's really awesome. You can also have it so that you have the far away or the close-up camera in 
combat there is a lot of options uh, it's all installed via TSL patcher real simple so I'm not going to be covering it in this video if you have any questions leave a comment down below uh, suggest future mods that kind of stuff uh, I'm really excited for the new year and happy that things are going as well as they are so uh, please consider subscribing, uh, it'll help notify you for when some of my new videos come out. I am working on a Droid Planet mod review, and I am working on an installation tutorial that'll show you how to get that mod working with other planet adding mods. For example, the uh, Jedi Temple on Coruscant mod, which I'm also going to be covering in the future. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I have been Zool, and I hope you have an excellent day.